Welcome to another workshop build video. In today's video, I'm going to be working on the roof. Now I'm going to be installing rakers, or ladders as some people call them, and then getting uh, some blocking done so that the uh, OSB can go up on the roof. So let's get started. I've just pieced together a couple of these little blocks here that I'm going to be able to screw into the end of the truss so that when I go to put my boards up here, I'll have something to uh, hold it while I'm moving around. So let me get this on here. Doesn't have to be too tight, just enough to hold the board while I'm moving around. Not a lot of room between this ladder and the retaining wall over here. All right, so now I'm gonna pull a 10 foot board up here. Let's see, and I've made a mark on it. Okay, I've marked my 10 foot board here so that when I get it up, I will have one foot on the end, plus I've calculated the three quarter inch plywood. Uh, so I'm gonna get these screwed in here real quick. I've cut another board here that's gonna go between that previous 10 foot board and uh, the end here. Now keep in mind that I'm no professional. I don't know all the tricks of what you're really supposed to do in this kind of situation. But in order to span uh, this last gap, uh, this, each board is going to have three trusses to uh, connect to. So I'm assuming that's going to be strong enough not to uh, cause any twisting or bending. So we'll get that connected here. I finished installing all of the boards up here. For some reason I'm thinking that's called a subfascia. But uh, anyway, now it's time to move on to the ladders, which I've never built before. So I've got some 2x4s set out here. And sadly, I forgot to save one of the angles from the trusses. Um, so the extra truss that I built that I didn't need, I have uh, cut off the end here. And I'll just use the rest of that board uh, as blocking. So what I'm going to do is take... Uh, these 2x4s and cut this angle back out here so that it will match the trusses. And I'm going to cut that on this end, flip it around and cut on the other side. Uh, so I'll have the same board basically as the trusses. So let me do that real quick. That should do it. I have all four of these boards cut, and so now I need to get the boards that will go between here to actually make up the ladder. Now because I only have a foot up top, uh, I need to have these boards cut to nine inches because these two boards will make up three inches together. So I'm going to measure out these boards and find that elusive pencil. There it is. Mark this at nine. In order to get all of these middle boards onto the ladder sides properly, I'm going to use a speed square and just mark across and then come down inch and a half. Let's see. And then mark this one again. When I move down, now I've only got five of these per uh, ladder because there's not going to be tons of weight on here um, and it's not really going to attach to anything on the other side. So I'm just going to come through here and uh, install these uh, every two feet, I believe. So I'm going to come down here from this one, about two feet. I decided on only using four along here because on the end 
there'll be uh, that inboard or the is it subfascia, if that's the correct term. Anyway, so it'll have plenty of support. So now I'm going to come through here and line these up and get these screwed into position here. Make sure this is going to be okay. All right. In order for these ladders or rakes to be installed, I'm putting some blocking here on the end of this uh, foot extra that we put on. So that whenever the uh, ladders are up here, they will sit on top of this and I won't have to hold it and try to screw it in the right posi uh, position. So put those on both sides real quick. Now I've got one more block here that I'm going to be putting over here, if you can see that, um, that I'm going to use to clamp the, uh, the ladder up here because it'll be hard for me to hold both of them while I'm uh, going up and down the ladder. So let me get that screwed in real quick. They're just a little bit awkward. Especially when you're on a 12 foot ladder here. So, what I'm going to try to do is get this one end up on those blocks that I installed, and then the other end is going to go straight up and be clamped onto that board that was installed up here. And hopefully, Nobody falls off a ladder. Well, let's see what the best way is to get this up here. I can't promise that this install will be quite as smooth as that other one. But we're about to find out. Oh, I can tell you already, I should have picked this up from the other direction there. Let's see if I can do the swap. So, I was kind of hoping to match these up short end to short end. So let me see about uh, flipping this one. Uh, oops. <laughs> All right, ready to go. Uh, okay, now we're in the right position. Oh, I should have moved my ladder over. You know what? We're going to use the house here. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just going to reset this whole thing. You didn't see any of this, did you? Oh, that way we can come up from the bottom with the right distance and with the right side. Mm. Everything will be much better. Now for the other side, I've got uh, the blocking set into place so that hopefully this will be able to set up here pretty easy. Now supposedly, once this piece connects with the other side, it will hold itself into position. Well, we're going to find out whether or not that is true. Balanced up here. Sometimes I just don't feel super comfortable up on the ladder. I fear that I've got it too far. 
and it should be connecting right around there but I've still got about gosh uh, inch and a half maybe so let me pull this back down and kind of regroup for what's happening here I moved the block and the clamp up higher and that has made a big difference it's exactly where it needs to be so now I've come back with this other one and cut off three quarters of an inch so now it's time to climb back up and see how well this fits third time's a charm it's six o'clock so my lights about to go away I'd like this one to be put up before I go inside It'd be nice Okay, now to get it up here over the top so it will hopefully slide down into place. Turns out I should not have cut off so much. Well, I added back in some little block pieces on the end over here, and that seems to have matched things up very nicely. So uh, I'm going to try and get some screws in here. It's only scared me half to death a couple of times. So looking forward to getting some screws stuck in here. Man, got that. So uh, maybe the other side will go a lot smoother. And that may be what you saw earlier. <laughs> and this is the blooper reel. Who knows? But now that it's up here, I'm going to keep putting some screws in until it's uh, nice and secure. Man, I never thought that I would be saying this, but 12 foot ladder is not quite high enough. I've moved the ladder inside now, and I'm going to be installing the blocking between the trusses. That's so the OSB can have uh, a block on every corner, every edge um, for support. So let me measure out between this first one here, and we'll get started. Maybe just a touch hard for you to see here, but a sheet of OSB is four foot wide. So I'm going to measure from the end down here and come up to the four foot mark which is right here and that's where my first block is going to go and this is going to be twenty one and a half inches I know this lighting is not ideal but uh, it's about as good as I can get right now. I'm going to retake my measurements to make sure I'm exactly where I need to be. Mark out four foot on the top up here. I'm going to have to pull out the block for when I install that ladder. Okay. I've noticed that the more I do up on ladders, the slower progress is. I guess that's to be expected though. Lots of up and down and all that good stuff. Okay. Now that that has been marked, I'm going to get the block set in here. I 
I was just talking to my neighbor, and he said that if you have 16 inch on center uh, trusses, you don't have to block. But with the two foot, you do have to use the blocks. So here we are. And I think it really adds a lot of strength to your building anyway. So I don't really mind installing them. Looks like I forgot to record an end card for this video, or if I did, it's gotten lost somewhere, which happens from time to time. Man, what a mess trying to get that first raker or ladder installed there. Uh, they're heavy and on top of a 12 foot ladder. Now the thing that made the biggest difference was moving that blocking up so that I could uh, clamp at a higher spot. If I had done that initially, the uh, boards would have matched up well and things would have been so much easier but live and learn I suppose now coming up in the next part we're gonna be working more on the roof my dad uh, is gonna come up and help now uh, I think I also got uh, some aerial footage of installing the backside ladders and it went much smoother so that's probably a better reference if you're building uh, this uh, on your own so definitely use that as a guide and the content in this video should be used as a mistake and a learning experience <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching if you would take a moment to hit that thumbs up button it sure does help the ranking of this video and also if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and do that now because there's always something new coming up on the channel uh, I guess that's it um, here's a little clip that we're watching about uh, my neighbors I think uh, it's a family of Mexicans that decided to burn leaves in a no burn time and uh, the fire department came and I'm pretty sure they got fined because uh, I heard on the news that they were skipping the um, the warnings and going straight to fines because it's not rained in, gosh, what, uh, 25 days, I believe? So it's very dry. Okay, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.